All right. Good afternoon. Well, I'm here talking to a new friend, an old friend, a friend nonetheless, Mike Rice with LifeSci Partners. Mike, thanks for joining us today. Let's get right into it. I want to learn about LifeSci Partners. Can you tell us a little bit about the firm? Start with the origin and then give us the breadth of this organization. It's huge what you guys are doing. So LifeSci Partners um, is a, a holding company. We've got nine different businesses under the holding company. We are 400 people. Um, we've got offices in New York and Boston, um, LA, Geneva, Zurich, London, Israel, and Asia. Um, the firm is focused in the life sciences space. The businesses that we have, IR, PR, the investment bank, the asset management business, consulting, search, fractional CFO, and the SPAC business. That is us. And how would you, what's your background? Like, you're not a scientist, I don't think. Uh, how did you get into this space? Yeah, so I've worked at uh, various different investment banks my entire career. And at one point in my career, was doing multiple uh, life sciences transactions. And the uh, origin of life sci in general was in the original business was the IR practice. And that's where myself and my partner, Andrew, who is a medicinal chemist by training, a scientist, he worked on the bench for many years, partnered, began this business and the rest is history. The rest is history. Now, that's pretty cool. So there's 400 people. How many of those 400 are committed to the science? How many PhDs, MGs, those kind of fancy designations are there at the firm? Yeah. So we are incredibly fortunate, and I say this all the time, um, what really separates us from every other firm that does anything like us uh, are people that occupy the seats. So we've got 65 MDs or PhDs across the platform working in various different areas, um, performing various different duties uh, on the platform. And so you'd also mentioned you've got nine different arms, right? What's the and 65 MDs, PhDs, are they all working together? Is it all collaborative? Are there glass walls between each one? How does all these different arms work together? So there is a lot of collaborative work that we do. However, from a compliance perspective, we are walled off. Each business is separate. And it's very important as we think about how we collaborate to do it appropriately. And so we do spend a lot of money, have physical walls, have all kinds of different firewalls from a technical perspective and spend a lot of money and are very thoughtful about compliance and how that plays into everything that we do. Yeah, expensive walls, uh, to say exactly. the least. Well, exactly. Close to home is the LifeSci Fund Management. I believe it's a, a division of the asset management arm. Tell us about the origin of the LifeSci Funds management side and maybe even the asset management arm as well. How does the fund management fit into the asset management piece of LifeSci? Right. So the LifeSci asset management business essentially is three venture funds. So we are venture investors as long as, as well as um, fund management investors, if you could call it. Um, so those three venture funds are run by uh, Paul Yuk, who um, who's got a whole team of PhDs and MDs that work and, and do the diligence on the on the venture fund. And then we've got um, Mark Charest and Andrew that are really on the life site management sort of day to day um, long only mutual fund. Mark and Andrew have been collaborating professionally since 2007. Um, where they worked together at a fund called Great Point Partners. The business was launched in 2019 and built it with a compliance mandate from day one that would be able to leverage all the resources of the LifeSci ecosystem. Gotcha. And when you look at like the business, you don't have to give us too much, uh, too much information there, but from a revenue perspective, LifeSci fund management, a big driver of firm revenue, a small driver in the middle. What's how does it fit from that perspective? I'd say it's somewhere in the middle. Um, okay. You know, we continue to grow the business and we will continue to add product and grow our resources and add individuals. Um, but, you know, it's something that we are super excited about because we all come from some sort of money management um, background. And at the end of the day, I think when we look across the life sciences space, there are many examples of, you know, very successful platforms like ours uh, in the fund business that have grown 
And when we look at our backgrounds and we look at our resources, there's no reason why we couldn't replicate that um, pretty quickly. Yeah, well, you mentioned Paul, Andrew, and Mark. They all have different backgrounds. They've collaborated, surely, but they do have different backgrounds. You know, each one manages things differently. What's the future? Like, are we launching lots of products? Are we going to focus on the few that we have today? What direction do you envision it going in the next three to five years? Yeah, it's a great question. I think, John, we are going to add product, but we've seen, again, many, many leading life science investment firms being built over the past 15 years. We believe that we have all the ingredients to become the next multi-billion dollar platform. We believe that we've demonstrated world-class, fundamental, thesis-driven research that's helped produce differentiated returns in a mutual fund complex wrapper, and again, plan to expand to mul multiple other kind of offerings, whether that's a hedge fund or anything like that. Um, yeah, and ultimately what we really think about is that we believe the funds that will grow to support the development of sort of next generation medicines to ultimately get to patients um, across many therapeutic areas. Yeah, I think that's the key thing. I, I wanna make sure we hit on that. I, I'm obviously familiar with LifeSite partners and especially LifeSite fund management. I wanna talk a little bit more about what you're trying to do. It's not make money, it's not investments. I know one thing we talk about with the fund is putting money directly on the balance sheets of some of these innovative and interesting companies. What's your real, what wakes you up in the morning? Like, tell me a little bit more about LifeSite Fund Management. What is the goal and objective of the firm? What are we trying to accomplish over there? Look, I, I think you probably know a little bit about, as most people now know a little bit about clinical trial development, drug development since COVID, where everybody was focused on um, what was happening in our industry, in our space, I think really the goal at the end of the day is to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And when you think about the money that we invest in some of the companies that we invest in, whether it's venture, whether it's the long only mutual fund, whether it's a future two and 20 fund, a hedge fund, it's all about making a difference in the lives of these patients in various different therapeutic areas that really need these sort of cures and medicines to help them. No. Yeah. Well, I think that's great. What if, if someone wants to learn more about LifeSide Partners or LifeSide Fund Management? What's a good resource? Anything you recommend? Uh, you know, we have the website, which is good, but anything else you think that would be helpful to get a more deep dive or more uh, information about these things? I think reaching out using the website is really the best resource. Um, you know, contacting Mark directly, who runs the fund, is also something anybody can do. Um, and obviously here in all the offices around the world, we have folks that man the, the phones, happy to pick up the phone and talk to anybody about what we do and why we do it. And, you know, the way that, you, that anybody could become involved. Anybody, anytime, it sounds like. Anybody, right? anytime. <laughs> I like that. Well, the website for the fund management side is lifesidefunds.com. Uh, feel free to go there. You can obviously connect with me too through these videos and we'll get you in touch with people. But Mike, I know you're busy. Can't thank you enough for your time. Uh, my favorite part was where are we going and why do we do this? The other stuff is table stakes, but it's always great to know what the vision is. Make a difference, develop. That's good stuff. Music to our ears. Thanks for making the time for us today. Really appreciate it. Thanks, John. Take care. All right. Have a great day. Take care. And thanks, everybody, for listening. Have a good one.